You know who I be, they call me Snapside I play that Call of Duty, schooling all the newbies Hit you down to learn, then go and press play Cause I'm only down, aiming for that first place Yo, yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Mr. Slapside and I'm back with the M27 with extended mags and silencer attached. And honestly, you don't need the extended mags. You probably just need silencer and a vertical grip and you'll be good to go. But this gun is very heavy, but it's very strong. So um, the play style for this gun is more sluggish, but it's very great for holding down parts of the map and just pretty much using your long range. It's very good for um, just defending, playing passive. But um, all that being said, um, you can see I'm using Ready Up, Marathon Up to Quick Draw on my specialist perks. Um, and I was, I was just kind of testing the waters, trying to understand what would be good with this gun. And every gun is going to be different, and it's going to need certain things to make it fit your playstyle. Like for me, um, with this gun, I can't really run and gun, that's for sure. So I just want to have that um, that advantage at close range because this gun is, it, it, it pretty much um, aims down the sight slowly. So um, you need to speed that up with quick draw and ready up. And like I said, it's a very heavy gun. So with Marathon, it, it gives me that luxury of just, you know, moving around the map without, you know, stopping and slowing down. And of course, you got to have sleight of hand and all that good stuff. So this gun is actually really beast for going on long gun streaks. It's not the most entertaining, obviously, but what I like about um, using different guns is that you're gonna have to adapt to the playstyle of the gun. Like, of course, with LMG in real life, you're not gonna, you know, fucking rush straight at the enemy. Um, I think the way they would use it is to flank the enemy and always have that enemy flanked because if you go straight at him, you better be holding ground and just spraying that thing away. But right now, you can see I pretty much got a solo spawn trap at A right now. And my mindset is to, um, you know, keep my feet moving and never really let them understand where I'm at. I don't just camp, you know, in one corner all the time. But right here, I was pretty pissed because my boy TD Baller died. But, um, you know, big shout out to my boy TD Baller. He took the bullet right there. And sometimes, you know, um, it happens. And I got his, uh, his revenge kill, Avenger. I avenged his death, but um, it just sucks. You know, I don't like it when my teammates die. I like to save my uh, teammate. But, um, he, you know, he was hooking me up and, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, my boys do that for me. But anyways, um, all that being said, have you guys heard about the scandal going on with Microsoft? They're paying a lot of big YouTubers that put up Call of Duty commentary and all that crazy stuff or just, you know, video game commentaries. They're paying them $6 per 3,000 views to promote the Xbox One. I think that that's very greedy. It's a great marketing strategy, but... Um, it's it's really aggressive. I mean to just pay someone out, you know, um, think about it You know you get six dollars per three thousand views and you're averaging uh, a million views per video That's you know paying some dough just to um, you know tell them to tell everybody on their um, YouTube why they should get an Xbox one so it's kind of false because I don't know. It's just weird, man. I mean, maybe um, Xbox was like, you know what, we need to get more sales. So that's why you probably see a lot of people promoting the Xbox One that are up in Machinima and all that. But word got out, and that's what's going on right now. And it's pretty big because it's pretty scandalous, man. And all honesty, I'm not really surprised because when they didn't put um, Ground War into um, this, uh, you know, into the current gen, I was just like, you know what? That's how you know corporations get greedy. They just want to maximize their revenue and all that. And it, it is what it is. It's called, you know, capitalism, you know, really trying to make more and more money out of something. And that's just how it goes. So, um, you know, I can't really hate. I mean, it's business, right? So what do you guys think about it? Share it in the comments below. But all that being said, um, I'm definitely 32 and 0 in the gameplay. And... I only got one capture, and there's a reason for for that. Whenever you're trying to go on a long gun streak, don't even worry about capturing flags. Just worry about defending it. And, you know, the best thing is to defend, you know. Just make sure they don't really take the flag. But right here, I kind of, like, gave him a little bit of leeway time to uh, um, push out. And I don't know if he had a spy plane or whatever, but these guys weren't really jumping you know on me they weren't really trying to you know like take me out because maybe I was just so elusive I don't know if I had um um I don't know what 
perks exactly I had in my uh, specialist. I kind of wish I could, you know, put up a um, information um, picture with um, all of the stuff I'm using, but I don't have that for you guys, unfortunately, but it's all good. I mean, this gun was just really something I was trying to um, drop a chem with. I mean, I was really striving to drop a chem strike with this for a long time because one of my boys was like, yeah, man, you got to try the M27 out. And he said it's overpowered and you know everyone was just talking about how overpowered this gun is and this gun is OP for sure man I mean 38 and 0 on Sovereign they can't touch me I mean there's a certain range you can't even be touched with this gun because they can't even react the bullets are very um, large so when it hits their chest it really makes them um, shake a lot it shakes their screen and if they don't have focus on then it's really bad news for them I mean this gun will definitely definitely make you flinch and that's what I like about it but right here um, I'm just pretty much just clamping them down and look at this dog trying to get me man I mean that's funny right there but um, right here I'm just listening I think that um, when you have amplify it's really great if the enemy doesn't use ninja because um, not ninja but if they don't use dead silence then it's really you know bad news for them because you just see them not see them you hear them coming from like a mile away and you could react to the situation and all that stuff but um you can see right here the game is wrapping you know coming to an end actually and we use a chem strike and yeah you can see i'm just gonna push around and i just really want to maximize my gun streak my current gun streak prior to this gameplay was like 42 and 42 yeah so um, we go 48 and 0 and get this guy right here almost choke that one and Yeah, man. I mean It's pretty much a good gameplay. We have hardline on and we're gonna get some uh, Gun streak kills getting a you know assist and anytime you get assist a Heart uh, a, a hard assist then um, you know, you're gonna get a gun kill for that, but um, I write y'all peace